to start a patient, you can either use the standalone version or you can come into your cycle and pull them up from uh, your cycle screen. This is beneficial because you can save your progress and also see audios from their previous visits. So if you go into their um, name here, you can pull up Noah straight from this screen. From here, you'll want to go into Auto Suite, and you can verify your patient information here. You're always going to want to uh, pick this first option here. Now create a new empty audiogram for a new audio. To start on this screen, we have our quick bar here on top. It's going to automatically populate to the control panel, which will give you these settings on the left here. Uh, if you want to get to your navigator to uh, your testing options, you can press this button here and it will show your, your different um, testing options on this tab or you on your keyboard shortcut you would press F8 and it will also give you the options here um, to get to your otoscopy, temps, OAEs, and your um, audio. The next would be your viewing options so if you prefer uh, having a split screen, a split view to separate your right and your left or you can choose your combined view to see your right and your left on the same uh, overlay. This next will be your masking assistant. This will give you an indicator that masking is suggested. However, it will not give you how to mask or where to mask. Finally, it's going to be your monitor speaker uh, button here. So you can turn off and turn on. You'll wanna have it on so you can hear your patient talk back to you. Um, next will be your channel settings. So like the standalone audiometer, you'll have your channels one and two. Um, you'll have your stimulus options, uh, tone, warble, and fresh noise. To use the keyboard, it's going to be uh, the numbers one through three. So one will be your tone, two will be your warble, and three will be your fresh noise. Next, you'll have your transducer options here. Uh, again, you can use your mouse to click any of these options. However, if you're using the keyboard, it will be numbers five through nine. Five will be your insert. Six will be your headphones. Seven will be your high frequency headphones. Eight will be your bone and nine will be your speaker. Uh, finally, you'll have your routing options. Again, you can choose left or right here on the keyboard. L will be for your left and the letter R will be for your right. When you want to control the frequency and, and intensity using the keyboard, it will just be your arrow keys. Uh, so intensity will be up and down. So when you uh, use the up arrow, it will increase your intensity. Using the down arrow will decrease your intensity. Uh, frequency will be the left and right arrows. Left arrow will be to um, Low lower frequencies and right will be for your higher frequencies. To present your stimulus, you just hold down the space bar and it will present at that intensity and frequency. To store your results, you just press the S, uh, the letter S, and that will store your results. If you hold the letter S, it will rotate between no response, uh, remove the response, and no response at the limit of the audiometer. If you would like to talk forward to your patient, you can use the letter F or you can also use F2. Holding down either F or F2 will give you your talk forward and your output level and mic level options as well. For masking, to set your masking level, you will hold your shift button and use the arrow keys for up and down to set your masking option. To present your masking, you would use press the letter M. We'll continuously put your masking on and holding the shift button and the arrows will also give you the ability to manipulate your masking level uh, intensity. To manipulate your presentation, you just remove your um, hold from the shift key and you can just use the arrows again 
up and down to manipulate the pre presentation uh, level. Then you have your test options. So uh, it'll automatically go to threshold to start. However, if you need to get back to threshold, you can use, uh, just press the letter T. To uh, present your MCLs, you would use the letter C. We'll go to your MCLs and the letter U will be for your UCLs. Again, if you press uh, the letter S, it will store your result here. And if you hold the result, it will rotate through your no response um, and questionable response as well. Uh, as far as getting to the speech um, testing next, you can use the um, tab here and just get to your speech, or you can use the page up uh, and down to rotate through your um, presentation options. So you can get to the speech there or just mark between your tabs here to get to your speech options. Okay, once you are in your speech tab, you will have um, a couple of options to present for your stimulus. If you press the number one, it will change to the mic. Um, this will be your live voice testing. However, once you press this, it will be continuously on. So be ready when you um, press this because you'll need to present your stimulus. Um, source two or source A would just be the number two and that will give you to um, our files here automatically the SRT will come up with the spondee uh, word lists and if you choose your word rec scores it will automatically change to your NU6 list uh, however if you want to change any of these you would just use this tab here and choose any of the lists to present um, or to change your presentation level, you would again just use the um, up and down arrows to change uh, the intensity level. Uh, to start the list, you would press F5. Playground. That will present your list, um, and then you can change your intensities from here. Plus or minus will get you um, to the next, will, will be your scoring options, it will get you to your next um, word daybreak and you can change your stimulus and once you find your SRT again you can press S and it will automatically save your presentation level here if you need to mask again when you you would hold shift and change what masking level you want uh, press M to present the masking and again, if you need to change your masking, you just hold shift and use your arrow buttons up or down to change your masking level. Uh, you can continue to present with your F5 mode. House. And if you want to save your masked results, you will need to have your masking on when you save. Otherwise, it will save as unmasked. So if you save here, you can see that you have your uh, masking level saved as well. Uh, following the SRTs, we have our word rec lists. This will automatically uh, populate to the NU6 list 1A. And again, if you need to change uh, your list, you can do it here. You will present, uh, you will change your presentation intensity with using the arrow keys like normal. If you need to mask, you would follow the same protocol as previously explained. Again, you'd press F2 to Say begin your Lord. testing. Uh, in the word rec, you will need to use the plus and minus arrows to score your results. So if they got the word correct, you press your plus but, uh, Say the word button both. here. And if they would get it wrong, you would Say press your minus cool. button here. Again, it will automatically go to the next word once you uh, score the result. Say the word nay. Once you are finished with your testing, again, you can press S to save, and it will save and score your percentage here. If you want to get to your um, tympanometry, you can use your F8 for your navigator, which will give you options, and you'll get into the emittance and press your default temp. 
if you have previously performed temps using the standalone Zodiac uh, in the booth, you can just choose this retrieve data option. Uh, if you press that, it'll automatically take the information on the standalone Zodiac and implement it here into your patient's history. If you would like to use the take control option, you will no longer be able to use the standalone Zodiac. You'll have, you would have your patient um, set up, ready to go, and then you would present from this option rather than the present option on the standalone Zodiac.